So here we are at GoDaddy.com. Now for the purposes of our training, we need a domain name. Now not all affiliate marketers need to have a domain or even a website, but again, for our training purposes, we need a domain. So here we are at GoDaddy.com. If you're unfamiliar with GoDaddy.com, it's where you can buy domain names and basically plant your flag and say, this is my domain, no one else can use it. So they have this, this little search bar here to make sure uh, and find a domain that's available to you. Now let's do a quick review. We talked about affiliate marketing and, and the mechanics and how everything works together. And then we also talked about niche marketing and how to be successful in that, finding either desperate markets or passionate markets or markets that you're interested in. Now some tips about actually acquiring a domain are as follows. First of all, you want to make your domain as close to the niche that you're marketing for as possible. So for example, as we talked about in the previous video in sel selecting a niche, we talked about instead of maybe like a wedding shop, you want to have a uh, petite right that's how you spell petite yeah <laughs> petite wedding dresses okay so petite wedding dresses dot com now I'm gonna go ahead and search for this I'm pretty sure that it's already taken if it's not then actually that's a pretty good pretty good URL okay now it says petite wedding dresses dot com is already taken which means that we can't take that domain now there's also a lot of there's a lot of other options in here dot co dot info all these different options but the best way the best gauge that you that you can measure this by is dot com dot net and dot org those are those are the best when it comes to search engine optimization and if you don't know what search engine optimization is don't worry we will cover it in a later video so that being said you want to keep your domain name your web address as closely related to your niche as possible now if you can't it's not a huge deal it's not gonna make or break you but again the the closer you can get to it the better if you want to put some hyphens in there instead maybe like petite hyphen wedding hyphen dresses maybe see if that's available search for that okay see petite hyphen wedding dress wedding hyphen dresses dot com is actually available it might actually be a really good domain to choose I don't know I'm not gonna buy it and if you see this video and you go hey I think I'll try and buy it most definitely go for it dot uh, com dot net and dot org are the basic endings of your URL that you wanna go for now I don't wanna make this video go for too long so I'm gonna go ahead and stop this now because the next video we need to talk about hosting the URL on a hosting platform now again if you do not know about it we'll discuss it if you liked this video and want to see more, feel free to check out the other videos by clicking any of the links here. If you want to see more videos like this, please support this channel by subscribing, favoriting, and sharing these videos on the social media sites shown below. Also, feel free to leave comments or questions here in the videos or on our YouTube channel. Your feedback helps us to know what to talk about next. To access additional free and more detailed training on affiliate marketing, simply click the link below. Once you are there, enter your name and email address so you can receive access to more detailed training about affiliate marketing. Thank you and we wish you the very best in your business.